The Duchess personally designed the Woodland Wilderness plot at the world-renowned event with the aim of encouraging both children and adults to spend more time outdoors. In a newly released photo from Kensington Palace, Kate, 37, can be seen playfully posing on a rope swing hanging from a tree, with Diana's favorite flowers growing in the background. Bunches of blue forget-me-nots are featured in the green space as a touching tribute to the late Diana who had been fond of the flowers. According to Earl Spencer, Diana's younger brother, these flowers became her favorite after he gifted her with a bunch during their childhood. Sean Harking, head gardener at Kensington Palace, told Vogue, Earl Spencer, Princess Diana's father, gave some forget-me-nots to her when they were younger. They stayed with her as one of her favorite flowers. In 2017 to mark the 20th anniversary of Diana's death, thousands of white forget-me-nots were planted in the grounds of Kensington Palace, her former residence. Known as the White Garden, the plot was opened to the public in remembrance of the late Princess of Wales. Kate, 37, who is mom to Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 13 months, looked relaxed as she was snapped in her garden wearing a loose blouse, jeans and hiking boots. The outdoor-loving Duchess, spent 20 hours last week putting her natural space together which includes a campfire, a treehouse, a waterfall and a stream. Kate's back to nature theme also shines through in a hollow log to climb through as she seeks to encourage families to enjoy some good old-fashioned fun in the fresh air. In 2013 Prince Harry's charity Center Bowl, which provides support for children suffering from AIDS, exhibited a forget-me-not garden at the Chelsea Flower Show as a tribute to his late mother. The world-famous show will be officially opened on Tuesday. Kate said of her garden, in recent years, I have focused much of my work on the early years and how instrumental they are for outcomes later in life. I believe that spending time outdoors when we are young can play a role in laying the foundations for children to become happy, healthy adults.